Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today we have some great news to discuss in the world of iOS as well as jailbreaking. Today, Apple has seeded iOS 9.3 Beta 5 to registered developers and we're so very close to iOS 9.3's public release date. Today's beta has actually arrived about a week before we were expecting it to, which in turn could expedite everything from the public release of iOS 9.3 to that of a new untethered jailbreak utility, so huge thumbs up for that. We're going to get more details detailed on the subject of jailbreaking though toward the end of this video so either stick around or down below in the more info there is actually a table of contents that will allow you to more easily skip to which sections of this video most interest you. So with that said we're going to get started by talking about iOS 9.3 beta 5 this latest seed. So we're here on Apple's developer portal which again is partially accessible without having to sign in and as you can see down below here at the bottom we have iOS 9.3 beta 5 and for its post date, March 1st, 2016. So before we get into what specifically today's beta brings to the table, we're actually just going to discuss iOS 9.3 in general. So let's go ahead and switch on over here to Apple's preview page for iOS 9.3 and quickly discuss it. So essentially iOS 9.3 brings Night Shift to the table, which basically is the company's own iteration of Flux. It modifies the blue light exposure at night, it kind of reduces it, and it's just easier on your eyes, so it's a more pleasant viewing experience. We also have security for notes, so you can now lock the notes application and in turn your notes within said application with a passcode, and then that can also be accessed via Touch ID if you have a device with a Touch ID sensor. Now beyond that, we have new algorithms for the For You section inside of Apple News, so it's more accurate and it brings back better suggestions. We also have an improved interface for the Health application that draws upon the Apple Watch's Health app for inspiration. CarPlay features have been improved and fine-tuned to more closely match what we have inside of iOS 9 in general, and there's also Verizon Wi-Fi calling in beta form. There are a few other minor changes here and there as well. We're not going to get into all of them in today's video. In your cards right now, I will actually have a link to my video discussing iOS 9.3 beta 3 where I go fully into depth on all of iOS 9.3's revisions. Now, let's talk about iOS 9.3 beta 5 specifically. What does this latest beta build bring to the table? Well, if you want to remember back to this firmware's predecessor, after beta 4 was seeded, I released a video discussing something rather odd. Apple had seemingly confirmed release plans for iOS. They did state that we would receive another iOS 9.3 beta, which is here today. And the reason for this beta is mostly to add Apple Pencil functionality back to the iPad Pro for navigation purposes. In the previous four installments of iOS 9.3 beta, Apple had seemingly removed the functionality to be able to navigate your iPad Pro using an Apple Pencil. Well, now that's back with iOS 9.3 beta 5, just like they promised. So I'm going to launch up Safari here, and just for a quick demo, I'm going to show you that we can indeed scroll inside of Safari, something that we previously were not able to do, and I definitely am running the latest beta iteration of iOS 9.3. You'll notice down below here at the bottom, we do have that night shift toggle, and it is the latest icon for Night Shift, which was added in Beta 4. So you can tell that we definitely are running the latest beta here. So again, we can fully scroll through things now using the Apple Pencil and use it for other navigational tasks, such as being able to navigate through this multitasking interface here and even quitting out of applications. It's a little more difficult, but once I get it here, there you go, you'll see that we can actually quit out of apps as well just by using the Apple Pencil, something we couldn't do in the previous four betas. So Apple has now added this back, of course. And there's also one other change in iOS 9.3 beta 5, and that is actually the ability to more quickly toggle on and off the night shift feature just inside of Control Center. In iOS 9.3 beta 4, you'd actually receive a little pop-up asking you for how long you wanted to turn night shift on. Now it just works and you can toggle it off just as easily. But believe it or not, that is it. 
for iOS 9.3 beta 5. We have no other revisions right now, and it seems like Apple is pretty set on iOS 9.3 as it stands currently. So this will most likely be the last beta before it is released to the general public, which should be very soon. As most of you know, Apple is expected to hold an all new iPhone SE as well as 9.7 inch iPad Pro unveiling event this month in March, and actually about two to three weeks depending initial room suggested that it would actually be held on March 15th. However, as I discussed in my last video, new Intel seems to point to a date that's one week after that, so March 21st, which can most likely be attributed to the Apple versus FBI case that's currently going on right now, which I'm not going to get into in today's video. But either way, provided this event actually comes to pass, iOS 9.3 will almost certainly be released following it because both of the devices are expected to ship with iOS 9.3 pre-installed, meaning it will have to be released before then, and both the 21st as well as the 15th, if they decide to go with that earlier date, are Mondays, which Apple seems to like to use Mondays for their public releases lately, since both iOS 9.2 and 9.2.1 were seeded on Mondays, and since we are waiting for iOS 9.3 to drop before a new jailbreak utility can be issued, this date is absolutely key, iOS 9.3's release, which now in conjunction with the information found in the this previous video looks like it may very well be on March 21st, though since iOS 9.3 beta 5 was seeded today, just over a week following its predecessor, it is possible that it could come earlier. The time between iOS 9.2.1 beta 2, the last beta for the firmware, and its public release was only one week. Seeing as this is a point one update though, it is possible Apple will want three weeks to have the latest beta in testing before they actually push it to the general public. So either way, iOS 9.3 is incredibly close and as I've mentioned a number of times now, jailbreak developers typically wait about one to two weeks following the release of a firmware that they're actually going to target provided they have either a fully functioning or near functioning jailbreak complete to actually be able to ready everything and release it. So today's news is is good because we received what will most likely be the last iOS 9.3 beta earlier than we expected to, and that means possibly we could get iOS 9.3 in its public form sooner as well. But regardless, we are so close, and I'm not going to get into the other aspects of jailbreaking in this video, such as how hard it is to create a single jailbreak utility for all of the devices that are currently out. Just know that it takes hundreds of man hours to complete a jailbreak, and timing is absolutely everything. I know it may seem like a long wait, but we have had to wait longer in the past, from the time of version 6 for up to iOS iOS 6.1.2 is patched by 6.1.3 until the next untethered jailbreak was released. For iOS 7, it was over nine months and we're currently not even close to that. So just trust that Taiji and or Pangu will continue to update us in the future with new jailbreak utilities and be thankful that they're even doing so because without them, we wouldn't have jailbreaking today in its current form. Now that pretty much wraps up today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you want to install iOS 9.3, beta 5, you can actually follow the instructions outlined in my previous video discussing iOS 9.3 beta 4. They remain the same. Check your annotations now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. You can find a direct link to it there, and that way you can get all set up on iOS 9.3 beta 5 or the corresponding public beta version. And if you want to be updated even more often, such as when I release videos similar to this one covering various things ranging from jailbreaking to the next iPhone models, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Of course, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.